this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 16 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Alright, um, let's create a cylinder here using Auto Grid. And just make it kind of small. And increase the height to about 0.1. Give it six sides. Convert to an editable poly, polygons, select the outer polygon. Get the edges you want to chamfer them. Okay. And then you're just going to want to place them around the outside edges. Like so. I'm just giving it some randomness by not using the rotate. Oops. Actually, let's just move these around a bit too. Alright, I'll select this polygon in here, inset it, not that much, and uh, bevel it outward just a bit. Okay. Mm. Select get it. these uh, affected only centered object. Okay. Uh, copy it over here. Bring it out. Scale it down quite a bit. Move it up the top corner there. Sink it in. Alright, and just copy it the other corners. Alright, uh, let's just make these all gray and black. Alright, next let's um, make like a little cap thing over here, so create a cylinder, make the height kind of big, give it 20 sides, convert to an editable poly, go into polygon mode, uh, use actually uh, get those edges, chamfer, uh, make this chamfer kind of big, give it about three segments, select this polygon here, um, bevel it inward just a bit. Okay, like so, and extrude it inward just a bit. Alright, mm. next let's create a um, box here. Okay, uh, convert to an editable poly, polygon, select that, chamfer the edges, okay, well, let's just rotate that a bit, bring it up over there, and select that, uh, those edges, uh, connect, vertex, slide it somewhere, I'm going to do cylinder, Make a cylinder using auto grid. Doesn't have to be too big. 20 sides, same as before. Uh, convert to edge of poly, select that polygon. Champ for the edges again. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to want to go into edge of poly. And we're going to want to make some cuts here. So cut from here to here and here to here. So we get a kind of uh, nice rectangle shape going on. Okay, uh, extrude it about uh, 0.88. Uh, chamfer those edges using two segments. Okay, and you select those, inset each of those polygons a bit, and extrude them back just a tad. Okay, uh, copy it down 
down here. Uh, give each of them a rotation in different directions. And let's see. Let's add. Hmm. a line in the spline section. Uh, start it there, start it there, and just finish it there. Um, select the last vertex over here. Bring it up. That. Sink it in there. Bring that one back just a bit. Convert it to an editable spline. Uh, then go into the segment section. Uh, hit refine and just put a vertex in there. Grab, oops, grab that vertex. Bring it down. Um, and then right click on this and make it a uh, bezier. Okay, and then go up to top here for rendering, enable and render, enable and viewport, bring the thickness down just so we can have like a, ooh, I don't know, a wire going on here. Make two copies of it and just switch, move that vertex around each of the times so we get some uh, variation in what the line looks like. Okay. Connectors there. Uh, let's make a box right here. Okay, bring it out. Uh, convert it to an editable poly. Grab that edge and that edge. Connect. Oops, uh, slide it over a bit. Okay this polygon, extrude it out a bit, just so it's about level with this, uh, then apply it, and apply it again, okay, select this polygon, extrude it so it crosses that, okay, uh, extrude it again so you get a little bit extra, okay, uh, select the back of it, extrude that just to get to touch, okay, grab that side, extrude it, and just extrude it out like that. Go into edge mode, press control A, chamfer, okay, give all that a bit of a chamfer, go to the vertex mode, just mess it up a bit. Not too much, so that's very noticeable. Okay, uh, then just rotate it a bit, move it up, clone it, rotate that one the other way, and just skew the vertexes in a bit different direction for this one. Okay, um, let's also make, uh, just Get a cylinder here. Uh, create a little cylinder like that. Give it seven sides. Alright, convert to edges with poly, polygon, edge, chamfer. Okay, give it a small chamfer. Okay, apply and just slide it around here. Corners and the bottom corners. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, that'll be it for part 16. I'll see you in part 17.